Hello and welcome to the rest of the news. Our special guest today is Corbin Seaver. How are you today? Doing good, Doc. Now, you're a chess player. Yeah, I'm the senior coach for the West Louisville Chess Club. The West Louisville Chess Club was founded by the Louisville Urban League back in May of 2016, and they appointed me as the senior coach. Something happened a while back. How long has it been now? It happened back in July. July. A little controversy. Yeah, it happened back in July. Let me give you a little background to that first, if I could. The West Louisville Chess Club, as I said earlier, was started in May 2016. I immediately got our chess athletes into local tournaments and in preparation for regional tournament that's held every year in Cincinnati, Ohio, usually in March of every year. It's called the Queen City Classic. So we went there, I got them all ready. We went to the Queen City Classic in 2017. Didn't do too well. We won no team trophies. I think the closest we got was like 10th place. Took about 15 and we only had one of our chess athletes who got a place trophy. His name was Jovan. He got a place trophy. So the great thing about that experience, though, was that everybody on the team said, Coach, we want to come back next year. As a matter of fact, even before we left Paul Brown Stadium, I had the guys and the girls saying to me, Coach, we want to come back next year. So we went back the following year. This time we had about 22, 24 with us, and we did much better. Four of our athletes won place trophies. For example, Haley, she was in a section with 115 players. Now, these are players from all around the region, Don. Florida, Tennessee, Ohio, Indiana. This is a Midwest regional tournament. Oh. And there's 115 in Haley's section. She got fifth place. She won four out of five her matches. In fact, she won the first four, and then she didn't get the fifth one. She placed rather high. And then we had three others who got place trophies. So we went from one to four. And then the really phenomenal thing was that we were in the the grades four through six section, rated under 800. They had some really tough chess clubs in there. The Dragons, some people out of Detroit. The Detroit Chess Club, they brought 90 students. 90 people. 90 students. That's just the students. That's not the coaches and that's not the parents. I was at a hotel and I saw their bus, charter bus, three of them just rolled up. Three buses? Three, right. Boom, boom, boom. That's the kind of competition we were up against. We got there by everybody, catch a ride with somebody. That's how we all got there. Going into the last round in that particular section, I was hoping and praying for third. I was just hoping and praying for third. I was literally, please, Lord, give me third place. And then one of the parents kept nudging me. I said, man, leave me alone. I'm sweating. This is stressful. And he said, coach, I think we got first place. And I'm saying to myself, what are you smoking? Right? Okay, this is a drug-free, this is a drug-free tournament. Now, what's up with you? I said, well, we'll see. Next thing I know, they're announcing it. We got first place. No kidding. We got first place. I was stunned. I was shocked. The kids were ecstatic. The parents were all over the place. They literally pulled it out at the last round. And chess, mental fatigue can set in. We've been there all day. Up to that time, we've probably been there seven, seven and a half hours. But yeah. mental fatigue set in. And I was always telling the guys, you got to stay away from the sugary stuff. Do a little exercise between rounds. They overcame that mental fatigue and pulled it out first place. So, of course, when I came back home, came back to Louisville, I was talking to everybody. I was analyzing all the results and everything. And I said to myself, we were sort of like de facto representatives of the Commonwealth of Kentucky at that regional tournament. Yeah. Now, yeah. there are a couple of other people from Louisville, but they act like they didn't know us. And there are very, very few of them. Maybe like, literally, maybe like two or three. We had a full force there. How many people did you have? We had at least 24 from all Louisville, mm -hmm. primarily from West Louisville. Kids from other parts of Louisville were with us as members of the West Louisville Chess Club. So I was like, hey, we were representing Commonwealth Kentucky in the city of Louisville. So when right. we got back, Metro Council recognized us, gave us some resolutions and certificates. You know. Barbara Sexton and David James in particular were very, very supportive. They bragged on us, and we deeply appreciated that. Then the Kentucky House had me come in. Jerry really? Miller and Reginald Meeks. Reginald Meeks was the one who took the initiative to say, hey, I want you to come to the Kentucky House. I want to give you guys proper recognition. And he did it. He made it happen. And I've known Jerry Miller, the state rep, for a while. And he was there. He was very supportive. So the kids got recognition from the Kentucky House. 
That's great. I don't know anybody in the White House, but they're going to, we got some connections with the governor. So I said to the governor's people, Governor Matt Bevin's people, I said, can we get the governor with my young people? Just give me about 10, 15 minutes. We take some pictures and all. They immediately responded. They said, we'd love to do this. Love to do this. We're really proud of what you guys have done. It's, it's a great achievement. Just sort of lets the world know. We got some great young people in here in the Commonwealth. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's time for us to brag on them. He's the governor. He's busy. But we finally was able to arrange for him to be in Louisville. We arranged where he could be. A good common place for us was Nativity Academy. It's a Catholic school there in East Liberty. And we got that time. That was it. He was with us for 45 minutes, Doc. Really? 45. That's a long time. Given his schedule, 45 minutes. Yeah. And Doc, let me tell you, he greeted everybody. He talked to everybody. He made some remarks, some comments. He bragged on my students left and right, took pictures with them all. Chess athlete in particular, he really bragged on Bakari because he played Bakari. He sat down and played Bakari. I remember halfway through the game, I was like uh, tapping him on the shoulder. It's the governor. Governor, we'd like to take some pictures with him. So he sort of looked up at me over his shoulder and was like, okay. And then he went back to playing. See, he was just not going to walk away from that game. He was really into playing that game. He was really something. And then afterwards, he even talked to Bakari a little bit. When I did this, maybe you should have done this and going back. Just like a typical chess coach. Everybody took pictures with him, and it was over. It was it. It was over. That said something, doesn't it? It said a lot to me. That a lot. My assistant was there. Karen Hudson was there. My chess parents were there. We all walked away. Everything's all fine and good. No problem. And, Doc, next thing I know, I'm getting these phone calls. I'm getting these text messages. I'm getting these email messages. And they said, what did you think about what he said? Isn't this outrageous? Isn't this ridiculous? So I'm sort of saying to myself, what? <laughs> what did he say? I mean, what are you talking about? Because, again, we were there 45 minutes. Now, there were some media people there. Oh, there were? Yeah, there were some other media people there. I didn't quite get it. And then when I was at the Louisville Urban League, they were saying to me, this is really something. Or, this is not good. I said, what do you mean it's not good? I'm saying this inside my head. Because, uh-huh. Doc, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what they're talking about. I can imagine. Until they showed me, and I'm an old man. I'm not real good on this media stuff. So they showed it to me. Here's what they're talking about. I'm going to read it to you. Before the governor went into the building to spend 45 minutes with us, he did some sort of Facebook thing, video or something. Here's his comment. I'm going to go in and meet the members of the West Louisville Chess Club. Not something you necessarily would have thought of when you think of this section of town. That was it. And based on that, Governor Bevin got a firestorm of criticism. No kidding. Insensitive stereotypical, racist. They showed me all the criticism and social media and all. It was almost as if, wait a minute, I was there. I had to remind myself I was there. Now, I did not hear that comment. I did not see him do that filming and hear that comment before he walked into the building. I was in the building waiting to greet him. So it was really a surprise. Yeah, it was. I was stunned. I was shocked. But I made a determination not to say anything. Very few people other than maybe some of the chess parents, really approached me and said anything to me. But I heard David James was very critical. I want to make this real clear. David James has been a supporter of the West Louisville Chess Club from the beginning. He's been great. We love him to death. brother's been very supportive of us. I heard David Tandy is very critical of the comments. David Tandy has been supportive as well. I don't think he's been as supportive as he wants to be, because he's been rather busy lately. But David Tandy's been great to us. I heard other people were very critical, but those other people never came around. I've never seen those other people before. Now, you can talk to me about Barbara Sexton. You can talk to me about Reginald Meeks. You can talk to me about James Peden, Jerry Miller, David Tandy. Yeah, those people have all been very, very supportive. They've been there. They've mm-hmm. helped me out materially, financially, encouraging the young people. Been there. But all these other highly critical comments, I'm like, who are you? Where have you been? Where have you been? We get from everybody who's critical, like $2 from them. I think the West Little Chess Club could like retire. We don't do any more fundraising for the next four years, guys. Let's go to some tournaments and let's do this. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. So I'm not here to say what Governor Bevin said was right. I'm not here to say what Governor Bevin said was wrong. What I am here to say as a senior coach, and I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity, Dr. Simon, because really no other media has given the opportunity for me as a senior coach, to say this. And that's to say, 
I'm very disappointed in that there hasn't been enough praise for my young people, for my yeah. trust athletes. Okay, you're critical of Governor Bevins, or even if you're supportive of Governor Bevins, that's fine, that's good. But it wasn't about him. It wasn't about him. It was about right, these young right. people who show some real grit in a field of competition. Louisville youth, Kentucky youth, letting the world know our backs may be up against the wall. You may have 90 plus, 100 some people up against us, but we're going to fight back. We're fighters. And no one was saying that about my young people. And so this is my opportunity to finally, once the, the controversy sort of went down a little, coach is going to stand up and he's going to say, hey, I don't appreciate you people not singing more praise for what my these young they missed the whole point. Missed the whole point, Doc. If they were to understand better, again, this is a regional, a regional. Other chess teams from other states, Doc, there are over 500 players in that competition. Wow, 500. 500 minimum, 500. People can go to the Queen City Classic, go to their website, and they can pull all this information off the web or have it sent to them. They'd be more than happy to email it to them. We're talking about Illinois, Missouri, Indiana, Ohio. Tennessee, going up against our people, our kids, and our kids letting them know we're just as tough as you, maybe even tougher. <laughs> That's good. And no one's bragging about that. No one's saying that. Governor Bevin was not there really necessarily to say they don't play chess in West Louisville. No, that's not why he was there. He was contacted because, hey, look what our young people accomplished right. at this regional tournament. And his response was, man, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to meet them. Yeah, I'd like to mm. encourage them. Yeah, I'd like to take some photos with them. Well, come on. Come on down. And the second thing I'd like to say real quick, I know you probably have a few questions, but we're nonpartisan. Jerry Mill is a Republican. Reginald yeah. Meeks is a Democrat. When I was there at the Kentucky House, they both made that happen, particularly Reginald. And they both took pictures with me, and they both were saying, hey, Corbin, what more can we do for the West Lower Chess Club? Robert Sexton, David James, they're Democrats. Every time I get with David James, Corbin, what are some things you need? Let me know. He doesn't guarantee me anything, but he just, hey, what are your needs? Barbara Sexton, Corbin, what are your needs? Man, I'm so proud of you guys. What are your needs? Hey, sure, no problem. James Payton, he's on Metro Council. He's a Republican. James, I need some, I need some tournament sets. Corbin, you'll have them in a week. You want me to deliver them? You want to come pick them up? That's the kind of supporter he is. So we're nonpartisan. Democrat, Republican, we're nonpartisan. So I hope some people weren't thinking that I got to wait for a Democratic Party governor. Before we rank right. something, right? Yeah. No, they did it. They did it. Yeah. They need this recognition now. And so the highest public official, elected public official in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, said on behalf of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and said on behalf of the people of Kentucky, hey, guys, we're proud of you. Go do and it again. And not only said it, he backed it up. Backed it up, Doc. By coming and visiting. 45 minutes, Doc. You would have thought we were some big multi-billion dollar company thinking about Coming to Kentucky. Nah, he, I'm going to be there. And he was there. Well, that is fantastic. They won the whole conference. They won their section. We're going back again this coming March 2019. Our goal is to win three team trophies. We're always looking good in grades four through six, under 800 rated. We're going to pull together some pretty good competitors in the K-12 open section. Very competitive because you just don't know the playing strength of the players. It's open. But I think we can pull together some good talent for that. And then I've got some K-3 students who are looking pretty good. And then because of what we accomplished this past March, the chess club has been growing. We're close to 40, 45 members right now. And our goal is to reach 50 by this December. I think that's a realistic goal. I think we're going to reach that. Because barely a day goes by when I'm not getting a phone message. Hey, I want my son or daughter to get involved. Hey, when's your next tournament? Things like that. Well, tell me yeah. if somebody is listening to the program today, how would they get a hold of you? Go to our website, the westlouvillechessclub.com. Go to our website. Our contact information is there. Pictures are there. Things of that nature the West Louisville Chess Club .com, or you can call the Louisville Urban League, leave a message. You can either leave a message for Sam Johnson or Rodney Webb. So those are the two best ways to get a hold of us. We're always looking for new talent. Like every other nonprofit organization, every other youth group in the city of Louisville, we're always needing financial material support, more financial than material. We need some donations because this year in April, we're going to the all-girls national chess champion. We're going there. That's up in Chicago. National so, National. 
One of the foundations supporting it is Kasparov's foundation. He was a former world champion, and he's sponsoring it. And there's rumor that he might be there. So this is a great opportunity. Going to a national cost, it lasts over like two and a half days. So you know, a hotel, room and board. Our goal is to take like young ladies with us. I think we got four who are definitely ready for it. We want to take another four to sort of expose them to it so that we're ready to go to the 2020 Nationals. The Louisville Urban League, and I can't praise them enough. They've even challenged me to look at taking a team to two nationals. Another nationals, K6, in Nashville. I think that would be in May. And they're really challenging me to go to two. Now, I'm telling you, Doc, if you had said something like, hey, let's go to two nationals like a year, year and a half, two years yeah. ago, I would have said, let's go take you over here to drug rehab. <laughs> we ain't going to. You out of your mind. You know what you're talking about. But after what happened at the Queen City Classic this past March, so the way they performed, the conditions they performed, I'm open to it. We have the money. I'm willing to go. I'm willing to take them. I'll take this team anywhere. Now, if somebody wanted to donate to the West Louisville Chess Club, how would they do that? Contact the Louisville Urban League. You make your check, money order out to the Louisville Urban League. Put in the memo section, the West Louisville Chess Club, or add a little note to it, say West Louisville Chess Club. This is for the West Louisville Chess Club. Then mail it to the Louisville Urban League, 1535 West Broadway, Louisville, Kentucky, 40203. And that's on the Internet, too? They have their own website? Yes. Their website is lul.org. lul.org. Yes, that's the Louisville Urban League's website. What's the L-U-L? Louisville Urban League. And it's an abbreviation. Yes. Because you've only been at this a, a couple of years. Well, personally, I've been a chess coach since September 2010 as my source of income. Before that time, I had my daughter involved. We were going all over the city, competing in tournaments and all. I got the opportunity to go into a full-time, really the encouragement. Didn't really get the money. I first got the encouragement. Dr. Anthony Middleton at Cable Baptist Church I taught chess at his summer camp. He called me into his office one day. He said, Corbin, sit down. I want to show you something. He said, Corbin, you see these letters here? These are all letters about chess. How these parents, grandparents, they really help their young people. Now. I said, well, that's great, Doc. But now we appreciate you. Corbin, have you ever thought about doing this on a full-time basis? I said, sure, if I had the money. lg and funny. Every month they keep sending me this green bill saying, hey, we want some money. So, <laughs> I don't know what it is about. Exactly. I don't know if it's racial profiling or what, but they keep sending me this bill every month. And he laughed too, and he said, Corbin, I can't give you money, but you can use our church basement as your office. And so from there on, I've been running ever since. And it's really because of the activity I was doing all throughout the county that Sadiqa Reynolds, the current president of the Louisville Urban League, approached me. She said, I want you for it working with us. And then that's when we came up with the West Louisville Chess Club. And I've been moving ever since. He's been very supportive, as supportive as she possibly can be. sadiqa has got a lot of responsibilities on us, a lot of projects, a lot of great things they're doing there at the league. And amongst all that, he's made it perfectly clear to me, we're never going to let this die. As long as you're doing this, and as long as these young people want to be part of it, he said, don't worry, I got you. Can't thank Sadiq well enough. I don't mean to be disrespectful, Mrs. <laughs> President Reynolds. I can't praise her enough. Well, I think that's tremendous. And it's great that you kind of put Louisville on the map as far as chess is concerned. Well, that's definitely one of our goals. Our vision is to become the most successful urban chess program in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And we do think out of that, yeah, that we are going to develop a chess program that's going to have some national recognition. You go look at the Walt Disney documentary called Brooklyn Castle. You go on YouTube and you search like there's a chess program down in Mississippi. And I say to people all the time, you see what they're doing? You see what kind of attention they're getting? See how this is really having such a positive impact on these right. young people and their families? Right. Right. And so we're doing the same thing right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Now tell me again if there's a listener that's interested in joining the West Louisville Chess Club. Well, if they want to join, again, go to our website, thewestlouisvilleclub.com. We should have a membership form on there. If you can't find the membership form, just come to our email, contact me at UrbanLouisvilleChess at Yahoo.com. We'll just get together. We do have uh, twice monthly club meetings. We do have a tournament schedule that extends into 2019. And in some Thursday evenings, I'm there at the league doing work, doing research. And it's sort of like an open door situation. 
where anybody can come in, adult, young people. If they want to learn chess, if they want to learn more about the chess club, you know, that's why I'm there. And so they can come in there and do that. And if they wanted to donate to the cause, how would they do that? Again, I would urge them to, to contact the Louisville Urban League and call them. The, you can Google them and get their address. You can mail in the check. Or, better yet, come to one of our club meetings. Go to our website, see what one of our club meetings. Come to one of our club meetings. See what we're doing. Meet the chess parents. Yeah. Meet the young people. Meet my coaches. Right now we got about 12 people on our coaching really? staff. Yes. We got 12 people on our coaching staff. Come meet them. Come mm. sit down and talk with them. I'll accept the check. I don't turn down anybody's check. I don't care if you're Democrat, <laughs> Republican, liberal, conservative. Oh, as, long as, the, as long as the check is good, I'll take it. Because we need it. We need the money. Corbin Seaver, we're about out of time, but I think that's a wonderful story. And I'm so surprised and happy that Louisville won that whole regional Yes, we tournament. won at that regional. We're going to do it again next year. We'll focus on doing it again next year. And I just also want to say in conclusion, at that tournament, those young people behaved in a way that would have made everybody proud. Great behavior, great sportsmanship, very positive behavior. I didn't have to raise my voice to yell at anybody for acting silly or ridiculous, anything like yeah. that. Nothing like that. They were... They were great. They were fantastic. Well, that's terrific. West Louisville Chess Club. We're about out of time. God bless you. Corbin Seaver, tune in again next week for the rest of the news. 